Hello and welcome to She TV, the place women come to become powerfully feminine from the inside out. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to understand men without losing yourself. Now at the end of this, I also want you to um, enroll in my one hour free masterclass. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe over here and click on the little bell icon, which will notify you of when I upload any new videos or live streams. Uh, we have an important video today where I want to talk to you about how to understand men without losing yourself. Now grab yourself some tea. As usual, I'm always mainlining tea here in the Queen Bee mug. So today's video is for you if you want to know men, really understand them, and how to step into your queen and know how to communicate in relationships. This is not for you if you've mastered how men think and you know how to communicate your needs and desires and how to apply them when in dating and relationships. So effectively, what we're going to talk about is, you know, what you may be experiencing or have been experiencing with men. I want to talk to you a bit about what you want to be experiencing and some reasons why you may have been experiencing this. And I'm going to talk to you a bit about what needs to happen to change this and to make it better. Now, again, I really encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. I'm very active here, so I would love to answer your questions. And before we proceed, I do want to invite you to a brand new free one hour masterclass on the topic of how to become a high value woman who attracts and keeps, more importantly, a high quality masculine man. Uh, the links are below and the links are going to be above here. So please jump on into that masterclass, get yourself enrolled. Okay, so today I'm effectively going to be covering what men really want in a woman, how men think differently to women, go figure, and most importantly, how to stop emasculating men. Okay, so let's dive on in. Now, I, firstly, I want to just first and foremost say that I adore men. I adore the masculine in men. You know, in my models, we talk about the true and false feminine, and there is also the true and the false masculine. And so when I'm speaking about the masculine, I'm really speaking about the true masculine, the king, right? And so I talk a lot about, you know, when you become a queen, when you know how to stand up in your own high value, then you're resonating with the true masculine. And if one of the biggest issues you've been having and you're trying to work out men or work out what they want or work out how they think, it's because you're trying to understand the masculine through the lens of the false feminine, which is either the princess or the maid, okay? And often the problem is, one of the biggest problems is if we're operating or we're turning up in dating and relationships in our own false feminine, then what happens? One, we end up attracting the false masculine and two, we repel the true masculine. And as I say often, the true masculine is super, super sensitive to the feminine in us. They're looking for it. Even if they don't know that that's the words, they're looking for the feminine. They're hungry for it. They're desperate for the feminine. They, it's the one thing they don't have in themselves and in their life. And as I've said many times, the true feminine represents life force, energy, creativity, richness, juiciness, all these things that they adore in us. And so when we learn to stand up in our queen, then the true masculine can stand up in their king, in their true masculine more. So I always say, let's not wait for the men to learn how to stand up in their king, because if they've got a king inside them, trust me, it's going to respond to your queen. Okay, very, very fast. Like you can turn this around quick smart with a bit of coaching, a bit of mentoring and a bit of support and sisterhood. Okay, that's one of the reasons why I'm here for you. Okay, this is the main thing that men want in women. They're so hungry for all that encompasses the true feminine. They want it so desperately that they will walk over hot coals for it. They'll 
travel around the world. They'll have long distance relationships with the right woman. Okay. Even if you thought you don't want to be in a long distance relationship, maybe you need to open up those parameters. Maybe you need to unshape some of the things you thought you wanted in a man. It's one of the things I train my women in my program, the Arise in Your Queen, Attract Your King program, is some of the ways you've been taught how to think about attracting what you want don't work. They're goal oriented. They're coming from the masculine. Writing lists of you know, physical qualities is not what you actually want. Okay. What you want is way more intrinsic, way more internal, way more about how you want to feel. And the masculine knows how to respond to that. Okay. So my second main point here is you need to understand that men think differently to us and they think beautifully. The way men think is incredible when you understand it when you, and it's quite a bit to understand the differences because you see, when we come to relationships and dating from the perspective that men are supposed to think like we do, they're supposed to respond like we do with each other, then we end up disappointed. Then we end up frustrated. Then we end up nagging them. And then we end up thinking that they're poorly behaved or they're misbehaving women, as Alison Armstrong says. But they're not misbehaving women. They're perfectly functional men who are thinking like the masculine. And what are they thinking? They're thinking, one, is there room for my masculine in this woman's life? Is there room for me at all in this woman's life? Okay. Um, they're thinking, is my masculine welcome here? Or is that base covered? Is she already covering the masculine base? Because if it's being covered by the woman, one of two things happens. One, he, if he's a truly masculine man, he goes, there's no space for me. And he either withdraws his energy or he puts you in a friends with benefits kind of zone while he's waiting for his real one and only. Or he's a false masculine man who's more than happy for you to mother him, to caretake him, to be the masculine for his false, false masculine, right? And I submit that that's not what you want. So what you need, what you want is to know how to be your queen. When we learn how to be our queen, you see in relationships, it's so beautiful because one of the key things, big things, main things, it's the second module in my training. It's called understanding men. And we want to understand men, not so as to pander to them or to manipulate them or to finally work out how to um, be what they want. It's in order to get our needs met, our desires met. And don't hear this as it's an either or, because the thing is, when we understand men, then we understand how to communicate our needs to them in a way that speaks to their masculine, true masculine king that just stands up, puffs his shoulders out and wants to do everything he can to provide for your needs, to provide for you, to protect you, to be able to love and adore you and to hold this incredibly reverential, beautiful space for you, your feminine, your feminine energy, your power in a way that meets his needs as much as it's meeting yours. And this is why the understanding men piece is so important. And there's one thing I want to share with you today uh, with regard to understanding men. It's that we don't know how much we have been emasculating men. Until I saw this in myself, until I understood it, really got that my behavior, my actions, even my thoughts were constantly emasculating the men around me. It's, it's any wonder I was failing in dating and relationships. And until I had someone show me what that looked like, how on earth was I going to change it? One of my main roles with you is to show you and illuminate things that you can't see, right? So it's one of the main things that any coach or good coach or mentor does is they show you where your blind spots are. And if you're a smart, savvy, successful woman, woman, which I know you are, then one of the things that we unwittingly do all of the time is emasculate the men around us. So let me just let me show you some of the ways we emasculate men. We emasculate men 
by leading with our success. We talk about our success. We talk about our accomplishments, about our cars, our houses, the things that we have, the things that we've done. We lead with our success. And let's be super duper clear here. Smart, high quality men love smart, capable, successful women. So this is not so as to suppress yourself, to pretend to not be who you are. It's just why lead with that? He's going to work it out very, very fast that you're smart. And if, trust me, if he's really smart and you want to be with a, a smart, intelligent, capable man, they love to have a smart woman to converse with, to have things in common with, to have that part of their relationship really satisfied. We emasculate men also by going into the mothering, caretaking role. That's totally emasculating. Now, that can happen unconsciously, again, blind spot, right? Unconsciously, if we find ourselves with a false masculine man, the jock, the teenager kind of man who wants to be taken care of, needs to be taken care of. And if you have a tendency to fall into that role, then that's a perfect fit, is it? Because <laughs> I don't think that that's what you really want. So you need to watch out for that one, the mothering caretaking, because then you fall into a mother teenager or mother-son kind of dynamic that is not sexy. It's not the kind of polarity that you want where you're in a strong polarity in the true feminine, the true masculine, okay, where everybody's needs are being met, where everybody feels powerful, strong. Um, and by the way, when you're in the true feminine and he's in the true masculine, you're both able to actually be vulnerable. Vulnerability is strength. I say this again and again. So when you're actually matched with a person, you find a match with somebody, then you can actually be vulnerable. Because there's always times when somebody needs to be um, holding the vulnerability for the other partner. It's not like we're getting all strong and going into a strength that's a closing or an invulnerability. Now, another way that we emasculate men is we don't receive their masculine advances, okay? I speak quite a lot about love languages in my program. A man always wants to serve the feminine. So whether he's got an acts of service love language or not, or you have an acts of service love language or not, they want to provide masculine things for us. And provision doesn't always mean financial provision. Sometimes it means help. Sometimes it means, um, discussing things with you and giving his view on the subject. Uh, I'll give you an example. So for, for years, um, I grew up my, with my father before he died and he was a medical doctor, but he was a fantastic carpenter. He had this incredible workshop and I spent my whole life just helping him hold things and uh, sorry, my whole young life before he died in his workshop. And by the time I was an adult, I could pretty much build, mend, fix almost anything, right? And that's pretty masculine stuff. And I still love that. Okay. That's uh, as I always say, I'm not here to cut off the masculine to build our feminine. We're just here to build more breadth of our experience of ourselves. And so what often has happened is I can fix things better than many men who some may not have that training or desire or whatever. But if a man has approached me and said, I'll do that for you, honey, or let me take care of that. In the past, I used to go, nope, I've got it handled. The old, I've got it handled. Oh my goodness. That is literally telling a man, I don't need you. I don't need your masculine. And um, I can do this better than you can. <laughs> Speaking from a lot of direct experience here. Okay. Now, the thing is, what have, what have we got to prove? Even if I can do it, even if I can do it better, thank you. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. And then they do it and then you thank them. You don't criticize them. That's a whole other video talking about the things you don't do with men, but you go, thank you so much. That made me feel really, really taken care of when you did that thing for me. So I've given you some strong, strong words today on understanding men, and there's a lot more to it. There's actually a lot more to it because you see, to understand men, we have to, um, 
deconstruct a lot of the things we believed about what they were or weren't doing for us okay so there's a bit of a training there's a whole training on this piece alone this piece alone will change the way you turn up in dating and relationships this alone the understanding men piece it's so beautiful when you understand men and realize how much they want to provide protect and take care of us and really be able to love and adore your feminine your true feminine and provide for your queen right your needs and desires they want that so much i really want you to understand that okay beautiful so today we covered a bit around what men really want in a woman how they think differently and how to stop emasculating men i hope this was helpful for you and, and as we're finishing up today again i want to invite you to my brand new full one hour masterclass where i go into a lot of detail and when how to become a high value woman who attracts and keeps a high quality masculine man. Now in the masterclass, I reveal the three mistakes to avoid that keep you as a smart, successful woman attracting the wrong men who don't commit, who don't want to be with you, or who don't turn up for you and meet your needs and desires. I also teach you the five step attractor king method in the masterclass so sign on up the um, it's in the description box below it's in the comments below get yourself enrolled jump on the masterclass and i hope that that really provides more depth to our topic here today so much much love from my heart to yours big kiss big whoosh and i'll talk to you again very very soon bye bye for now